Hi, so um, I've got a new config out available to download, which you can download in the members area. So I'm going to talk you through what it does, how it works and how to set it up and all the good stuff. You should be aware how to do this, but your indicators are over on the uh, right hand side of trading view. If you click on that. Okay, so your alerts are over here on the right hand side menu of trading view. So how I've got this set up here is I got four charts, six hour, eight hour, twelve hour, and one day charts. So you right click on your indicator and go to add alert. Okay. So your alert is going to be on select the condition, which is the indicator. Uh, so if we're taking a long position, you're going to select crossing up. And uh, the value here. So for this one, let's have a look. I've got a value for a long position set crossing up 2.5 well, I think 2 so you would change that to 2 and all of these will be once per bar and then you set the expiry date so set it as far forward as trading view allows you so 23rd set and we're going to give it a name as you can see i got my names here so anyway you give it a name which so what i do is i give it a name like btc one day crypto nuke a signal a long signal this is just so you know what signals have triggered when you look back at the log and then we're going to go to the message so the message will be the profit trailer signal so i can show you what that looks like okay so the signal here so a long signal so this is the message I'm using now what I do is use the flip signal but I control it through the profit trail config whether I want to take a long or a short close because sometimes you might not want to close the position so you might just want to open a position so let's take that message um, obviously you need your token in there and stick that in the box. Okay, so I'm not going to save that one because I already have that saved in my alerts already. So the things to take from that is that the trigger needs to be once bar and the date and the name and your message. Okay. Right, so just going through the config here, um, you have different setups and options depending which buy and sell signals you want to use. So obviously the markets change, they don't trade exactly the same day in, day out. So you might find the six hour DMI is not working for you, or, you know, obviously um, these indicators work on being oversold or undersold but just because an asset's oversold or undersold it doesn't mean it's going to reverse its price action you know um, an asset can stay oversold for a long time so it just depends how the market's trading okay Right, so um, in the downloads area, 
you're going to find the uh, text setup instructions just explaining the settings I'm using. Um, although, I mean, obviously change the settings, adjust them to how how the market conditions are just because that's the settings I'm using doesn't mean it's set in stone. <clears throat> um, and the uh, my custom indicator, the Kryptonuke A and B signals, there's a text file for the Pine script in the downloads that you can download, uh, which is straightforward setting up. You just go go into your trading view. Mm -mm. Into your trading view, you click on the little arrow down here on the bottom. You can't see that because it's underneath me. That will pull up the um, Pine Script editor. And when that loads up, right okay that will pull up the pine script editor and then you just go to uh, open and go down to indicators you can just add a new indicator and um, put the details in and save it and add it to the chart